Hello there, Itra here. Today we're going to be covering off the tourist and their hotels and the debuff system that was brought in. If you ever click on your hotel and you see the little icons here at the top and you also have the blue bars that aren't going full across on your needs and you have the unhappy symbol here. What does this all mean and how is it happening and how can you get past it? So there are three types of debuffs that can be applied to the tourists. We have the first one, which is because of luxury requirements, because of hotspots, and because of the attractiveness on the island. So obviously the attractiveness, we need to get up to a current amount of attractiveness. We're at 1600 at the moment, that is not enough. And uh, we also don't have the hotspots, if we have a look here, the hotspots are on the right hand side of the happiness. These are their luxury goods. And these are the hot hot spot systems. And there we go. Luxuries, we're not being provided on the luxuries. So at the moment, we have all three of the debuffs that are available. So the first one for luxury is 20% consumption, which is going to be applied to things that they consume, like the bread and the jam as well. The hot spots will affect the variety theater and the iron tower, reducing it by 20%. But they also have the 10% reduction because of the attractiveness as well. So they're getting a 30% reduction. So as you can see, even though we have the variety theatre right next to them here, we are only running it 70% effectiveness, even though we have the full coverage. Same with the bread. So that's how you can see how the actual reduction is actually applying. And as you can see here, it is reducing the amount of money we're getting in. It will also be reducing the number of tourists that can stay in the house as well. So how do we get around this and what are the trigger points on it? The first and easy one that we'll have a look at is the attractiveness debuff. Tourists are unhappy with the attractiveness of the city. So if we actually have a look here at the attractiveness value, it's nice and simple. The amount we need to hit is 2000 200 attractiveness to get rid of that debuff. At the moment we're at 2153. So if we have a look at this cultural set, we just plop that in there. We go up to 2221 attractiveness. As you can see, we're at zero. And the debuff has now gone. So that is all you need to do to get rid of the attractiveness debuff. And just a reminder what that one is. Get rid of that. It is 10% on all needs. So it's quite a big one because that covers across everything on their needs. 10% reduction. So you're going to be capped down to 90% on everything. So the next two are going to be a bit more complicated as there are variances and the limits do actually change depending on your population level. So we have a look at the luxury goods and hotspot system here. As we can see here, I am at negative three and negative zero on here. So they're both red as they're not required. Now, if we have a look at the luxury goods system, at the moment, I just have the fur coats required. And to hit the next requirement would be 750 tourists living on the island. And I need to get my happiness at a plus one on the luxury goods. Now, to do this, to get at the moment we're at negative three to get back to a zero it's at 35 percent coverage and anything above 50 percent will get you to plus one on the happiness rating which will unlock that now if we did hit the 750 population unlock and we weren't providing the gold rings we'd have to increase the number of fur coat coverage to actually compensate for the negativeness on the jewelry that we're actually unlocking. Also, the percentage to get to the plus one would increase because of population levels as well. So we just have a look at this one as a tier one and one and only item. As you can see here, we've gone to negative one. I'm about to go to zero at 35. And then at 50%, we will hit, there we go, green. And there's the debuff just gone straight away. So the last one and probably the more confusing one as there's so many more variants on it and there is ranges that we have to contend with is the hotspot system now if we have a look here at the hotspot system we are at a 
plus zero on the happiness and we've got rid of the debuff here so how have we got to this plus zero so we have the docklands which is whether there's one on the island or not it either goes to zero or four percent and we're getting plus three on this and we have the botanical garden which is at 22 percent power because we only have 67 attractiveness in it and we have the zoo here which is at 40 percent as we only have 121 over there now the strange thing i found is the fact that if we look at this if we just had the zoo unlocked itself because of population unlock that 40 percent would actually be at a negative one however because of all the other ones that we've boosted up and the overall happiness is at zero this is fine but it still is very strange that the supply is at zero not negative one because of the 40 percent coverage so if we have a look at this we get rid of that so we're still at 40 percent coverage and the docklands is gone and we're now at negative three because we've lost that plus three attractiveness over here so if we have a look at getting rid of this very quickly there we go let's have a look at that so now we are at negative four because we have negative three zero and we are at a zero on there which is putting us at negative four see this is where the math doesn't make complete sense if you have a look at the individual numbers it just is very a little bit off on its calculations so the main thing you need to do is watch the overall happiness over here so if we try to reduce the number of population here or if we get the happiness over here to above 50 percent if we put in the goblin shark see we're at 58 percent which if we had just the unlock for just the zoo in theory that should be fine so if we delete that and we delete that to artificially reduce the number of people that we have so now because the population lock has fallen below 450 we're now at 58 percent which is a plus zero which has gone back to zero on the happiness on the hotspots we now have gotten rid of the debuff so you just have to pay attention to the overall happiness on the hotspots because there is a little bit of wiggle room on its calculations so hopefully you found that uh, useful if you did i do appreciate any subscriptions on the channel and any likes on the video and comment down below if there's another guide you'd like me to cover off next stay safe and i'll catch you on the next one